we play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and on this day, Disgaea 5 complete, printies only dude continues. We have a pretty god. We have a pretty king. We have a pretty general. We have two pretty colonels, three pretty captains, and a partridge in a pretty tree. Or a pretty in a partridge pear tree. It, anyway. Uh, yeah, we, and we have our private printing. And uh, this is the final tally here, guys and gals. Everyone moving forward will all become basically private printies. Now, the caveat, or one of the caveats I don't believe I discussed is, as I said, every time we reincarnate, we're only allowed to move up one rank from good for nothing to incompetent, so on and so forth, right? So. If I choose to increase, or sorry, reincarnate, excuse me, the um, private printies, I will not be able to give them the next rank of Captain Printy or so on. However, I will be able to reincarnate them and then move them from good for nothing up to the next one. And then when I reincarnate them again, up to the next one, so on and so forth, till genius level. That I'm still able to do. I'm not going to try to do this, do this egregiously or like skip a bunch of stuff and I'm not going to be like oh he's a private pretty good for nothing now and then next time you see him he's good for nothing or sorry sorry he was already good for nothing <coughs> I'm, I'm kidding more Pernicus it's just it's just your, your start uh, he's all of a sudden a genius I'm not going to do that that's not going to be it's not going to be how it goes so I will do it you know layer by layer just like I promised you guys I would so all that being said we have our first genius it's me who knew who knew from my near genius status to actual genius status, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Bumpy McPrinty, the Printy God. Party Pretty Star moving up to the Printy King status. Exiled Printy is now also says Printy King, but he Oh, he he got his rank up higher. He's the uh, general Printy. Printy Draug and Kabo Printy are now uh, locked in as Colonel Printies, and then the Captain Printies are Pretty Oxes, Holy Printy, Pretty Rupert. And then, of course, everyone following this will be Private Printies alongside more Printicus. Usali has leveled up. As you see, we have gained quite a few levels. Also, that wasn't enough for you guys and gals. We have found some pretty decent equipment. We got the Pravda Appendant. I got that out of the little list of bonus things. Uh, bonus things. I also have a Sparta Shield, which is a lot stronger than what we had before, and the Lamia's Coil. So... Some good stuff coming our way there. We can cheating basically take a best. look. Cheating is the best. And we're at six stars. And basically, this is how I've been leveling up, if you guys are wondering. Where would you like to go, dude? I mean, you should already kind of know. We saw the the power of this place before. But essentially, I've been hopping into here, increasing the star rating bit by it, bit. Dude. And basically just slaughtering these guys. And you can see the Pringer Beam will basically annihilate most folk. You just, you, you just throw somebody else into the mix, yeah, like uh, Exiled Printy, for instance. You go ahead and get that printed bomb out there. And it's sweet, sweet, nice styles, and that should have set me up for the sweet, sweet victory. There it is. So as you can see, uh, there's some stuff we can gain. I'm going to try to keep my eyes on the, the bonus list there, if we can get some more items to do things in the bonus list. I'd like to get some better shoes, and I've seen a few things that are better shoes in there. But, unfortunately, that being said, we look over here, we don't have a lot of uh, filler to throw in there. And I don't think that's really a place that we can survive a lot of hits. At least not yet. So, eh. It is what it is. Anyhow, we're going to head back down here. We're going to go back to this, bring it down to the old zero, and onward we go. To scorching flame, in the land of Rush, and hopefully it all goes well. We're gonna, of course, skip all this stuff because we we's here for the prinnies. Do it, dude. Do it, dude. Uh, party Prinisar yeah, also has had his movement increased, but none of the others have. So we're a little bit for uh oh, a little bit further. Uh, okay, we're good. I was, I was a little worried that I might have to start throwing people. And I'm like, uh-oh. 
That's not gonna go well. Do it, do it, dude. All right, I'm gonna head off this way. We're gonna have our king gonna go you, in. Dude. Oh, apparently all of us have to head off this way. So you'll see we were able to move there. Exile's a little bit short, as yeah, are the rest of the crew. I'm gonna eat you, dude. But our slew of cannibal printies yeah, and other printies are here and ready to go. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. All right. And yeah, dude. kicking into the corner there. There it is. There is our entire printy squad. In all of their glory, don't they just look lovely? That's impossible, dude. Ooh, they actually hurt him a little bit. Hmm. Well, if I had to, I would do that. I suppose at this point, Pringer Beam seems fine. Gonna go there, gonna get you out of harm's way. Executed the two that came after us there, feeling real good. Exiled's on his way. Then we got Party Pretty Sar and Bumpy McPrinty. <laughs> Alright. A lot of folks super mad at us. It's all good though. Cause we got ourselves some pretty bombs to draw. We do have a kind of still a medium long way to go, but eh, I think it'll be fine. What's up, dude? I'm pretty sure the bomb isn't gonna work here. Oh no, I was wrong. All right. What's up, dude? <laughs> cool. All right, I believe we have a new skill that we can unleash. Hey, dude. I don't know how does this work. Oh, it is in a straight line. Well, that's poopy. Well, I mean, if they're gonna give me that stuff right there, we'll, we'll figure it out eventually. We're gonna kill Rob here, though. It's no big deal. Hey, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna eat you, dude. Yeah, dude. Nah, nah, we've already done all the eating. We've done all of the eating. Alright, end of the turn. You can do it, dude. Alright, so we're gonna show you guys the pretty fusillade. Cause it's pretty cool. We're gonna actually let this one go. It's pretty neat. So he hops up, he just starts lobbing out these uh, little sword attacks. Then he jumps in, chops him up a whole bunch, knocks him away, then beams him down with the skull from the Pringer Beam, and then boom, there we are. It is pretty cool, I doth agree. Unfortunately, we are not done with these uh, scallywags just yet. <laughs> I do that honestly. I'm mean, like nobody else needs to move at this point, so let's just let's just start our uh, slow ascension over here. <sighs> Fusillating it up. Gotcha, dude. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, that's a problem. I hope this works. Oh. Oh, I didn't know he could jump over there and grab me. Oh, man. Woo! That got me nervous. I was one step away from losing our pretty king. Oh, man. I'm glad that did not go poorly for me. Well, I, I suppose it makes sense. I need to be more cautious considering this is the land of Red Magnus. And he's super reckless, dude. But he's also, uh, uh, you know, he likes to grab and throw people, so... Should probably be a little bit cautious, a little careful. Okay, glass cannon builds. All right, no entry on this side.
Hmm. Well, I'm fine with this. This doesn't seem to be all that perplexing or challenging, as it were. Do it, dude. I did. I did it, dude. All right, pretty barrage. Sit. All right. Oh, pretty throw can make it over here. Did not expect that, dude. All right, got our cannibal printies. I think that's fine. But a lot, a lot of throwing still, making me uncomfortable. Trigger beams more than enough. Uh, fusillade. You said good day, sir. Gotta make sure we take out the the wrestlers. And if not, that I, I'm hoping at least that we can. I don't know, man. I'm worried. Oh, we also unlocked the wind power. Uh, so we got a wind scroll through one of our things. So now, you notice we have star and we have wind, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I'm a little concerned. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, wrestlers there. Wrestlers there. Everybody else is fine. We're all safe on this side of life. I think I can fusillade you from here. I can. Oh no, I got this. I got this. This is fine. Take down you. I think the bomb will take you out. Yep. Gotta be very mindful with your printies and what they doing. Alright. Singular wrestler. Singular wrestler is all that's left. Of the, uh, like, mass. Well, I don't say massive. Threat. Well, yeah. The, the big threats. The big threats to us. Do it, dude. Do it, dude. I think I can pretty bomb over there. Yep. Taking you guys out. And the turn. Oh, interesting. Eh, we gotta get the fuse laid up. Essentially, our pretty uh, barrage is still solid and strong, but it's already a pretty high level, whereas this is not. And it's got more reach. Made in Japan. Made in Japan. Made in Japan. Here comes the Sonic Smash. Yeah, we can. And we will. And we did. With the fuselage. All right. There it is. Another clear. Pretty, pretty decent. Got some random stuff there. Not too bad. Ari, oops. Ariane uh, surrendered, which is good. The senseless lava flow. We're gonna actually go quickly and re-heal ourselves up. Let's fix you up. And you'll notice over on our right side, zero revives thus far. Oh, we, we do have, um, fix you uh, I think an orb that we can go. Oh, we got the ace muscle too, nice. Uh, yeah, we got an orb. All right, well, with that being the case, Morbidicus. Dream Muscle, you have Ace Muscle, which is actually still worse. The Dream Muscle is one of the big ones that we got. Let's get rid of the Fight Muscle here. Give him the Ace Muscle. Give you the Super Fight Muscle and everybody else is set. Okay. Let's and we'll throw a heal Let's if, I, if I don't hit the wrong up. button there. All right, we got to talk to our peeps. And there they is. There they are be tooing. There they is be to Aring. Um, she's usually over here. Yeah, there she is. All right, so in addition, we have not done this yet. We have not gone and gathered our triple core of treasure loots. So I say we go do it. I don't remember where the third one is. I think it's over here. Yeah. 
There we are. We got the triple treasure. Remember, every single chapter unlocks more treasure to be had. How would you like to go, dude? And we'll be the ones to have it. Scorching Flame, a Senseless Lava Flow, damage or decreased fire resistance by 50%. So fire... You'd think that you would have more fire resistance being in an area called, like, Lava Flow, right? Like, you'd be more used to it. I don't know that we can jump up there, but we can figure it out. We'll figure out a way to, to traverse that. Oh, a lot of Nekomatas up here. A lot of uh, Lady Ronin or Holy Swords women. It's fine. A lady Samurai. Wait, can I jump up there? Yeah, dude. Oh, I totally can. Oh, heck yeah, yes. Dude, dude. What is even yeah, happening dude. right now? I don't know, but I like it. Yeah, Alright, Pretty Drogue yeah, and Cup of, Pin uh, Cup of Penny. Cup of Prini yeah, are going to go up there to do some yeah, things. Dude. I know right now we have an overabundance of the printies, but we don't necessarily need all of them, which is okay. All right. Oh, okay. I thought that was lined up. It looks like all of them are like in a row-ish. All right. I guess I got to stop here and chuck out the bomb. All right, come over here. What's up, dude? Hopefully we're strong enough to not have to deal with too much more chicanery. Up, they do dude? they do seem excitable. Yeah. Oh, the Nekomata are coming. Okay, we're fine. Um, uh, let's go with Montas. It's a bit closer. Hopefully it does not explode. It did not explode. Alright. Back up here. Pretty a barrage. No, we're going beam time. Bring a beam! Hey, dude! Alright. Hopefully the dynamic duo here can handle whatever is to come their way. Don't think, yeah, you're you're a little bit outside your reach right now. Oh, that was a little bit of damage. All right. Couple Prinny says, "How dare you attack Prinny Thraug? Burn for it!" Prinny Thraug's like, "But that was my kill, man. They hit me. I wanted vengeance. Nobody hits my Prinny Thraug and lives." Meanwhile, uh. Party Pretty Star is just like going all around the place, you know, doing what he do. All right, Pringer Beam taking you guys down, and we're gonna just probably fusillade you. There's not much left for us here. Nekomata attacked, and the Nekomata is no more there it is almost 20,000 damage on that one it wasn't bad we will skip the demo we will continue to push forward dude salamander ferocity indubitably all right whatever you say plip all right what are we looking at here some medium chicanerous stuff. That eh, should be fine. Do it, dude. I, I'll say I am fairly certain I cannot jump over there. <laughs> and whoo, 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 that was uh, proven by the, the gap there. I don't think you can jump over gaps. Do it, dude. Gah. Why would you eat me, man? Don't do that. I mean, I'm probably tasty, but still. I wonder what a pretty would taste like. Eh. I suppose that's something that I don't really want to answer to. Alright, dude, dude. Dude, dude, dude. 
Oh, look at that. They, they tried to am ambush us. Well, we said no. No to the ambushing. Alright, quick, uh, pretty uh, barrage. Pretty king, step forward. Pretty god, you do the same. A super pretty, pretty god. Pretty god, gold. I, I don't know, it's fine. You can do it, dude. The double wrestlers are on their way. They want a piece, and we're not willing to give it to them. I don't think you can hit him with a bomb from here. Oh, I'm wrong. The reason I didn't think we could is uh, the height difference. It's kind of a big issue most of the time. I'll just throw you up for the... No! Don't throw the pretty! Alright. Can confirm pretties explode upon being yeah. thrown. I like clean filth. That's uh, that's something special right there in that name. Do it, dude. All right, my printers. Let's get on up here. Hey, dude, dude. Old printers, exiled printy. You can do it, dude. Alright, slowly but surely, we continue our onslaught of all that stand in opposition of us. Indubitably. Okay. Did I just lose someone? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, God, there he is. I'm like, where's... Where's Party Pretty Star, man? Gotta put him down, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was like, wait. I know I had him over here. Did I not have him over here? I was so freaked out there for a second. I was like, where'd he go? Oh, I can't wait to get away from this level. This level is horrifying. This level is super dangerous for our run. If they weren't going for, like, backbreakers and horrible things like that, woo! We'd be in a lot of trouble. All right, onward. All right, what are we up against now? Any wrestlers this time? No. Okay. I'm gonna let Exile deal with the front line. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna dude. sit it out. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let all the uh, all the other folk you, shine this time around. Yeah, dude. They'll be flanked by Prinioxus and more Prinicus. Yeah, Party Prinisar is gonna provide Overwatch. Yeah, dude. Holy Prinny and yeah, Prinny dude. Rupert are going to accompany the Prinny Colonels. All right, here we go. <sighs> Impossible, dude. Or just possible enough. I'd like to think just possible enough. All right, my pretties. Step forward. How much health do you have? I'm a little worried about some of them. But, theoretically, we should be fine. Alright. Let's get on in here. Alright, Silent Sniper went off. I'm hoping no one got killed by this. Okay, no one got killed. Like, we should be way stronger than anyone else. Like, that should just be factual at this point. Alright, we got to kill. Yeah, we, we gunst to kill the uh, bad guys here. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, dude, dude. Apparently, we may need some help. Hey, dude. 
All right, what do you got with the fuselade? That's not much. All right. We may need we may need some assistance from the pretty king himself. Alright, so while all of that's going on, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna beam it out. It's not quite enough. We're gonna pretty brush. We're slightly concerned with our overall positioning, but again, I suppose it's fine. Alright, finger beam going strong there. I'm gonna come up over here. Do we go for the bomb? We do. Alright, I think that's that. Let's see what happens. Oh. Apparently, private eyes are watching me, I guess. I don't know. Did not particularly enjoy that. Ooh, we got a good hit on him, though. Can we get him with another bomb? We absolutely can. And coming in for the kill is the one, the only, Exiled Prinny. All right, come on. Go. Nope, that was, that was the one. Pretty a barrage, pretty a barrage number dose. Pretty barrage times two. Ooh, a feather token. Not that good, still. Dude! It's there, dude. Skip the demo, yeah. Hey, we made it through another chapter, folks. Cause that's how we do things. The Supreme One says, "Cool." Right. Let's super get it done. Oh, well. Alright, let's go super talk to some fools. Alright. Uh, Alright, I know what we're doing. You need something? Yeah, I do. Must hire another printy. For the printies. All the way of the future. It's not going to be Devin. Oh no. It is going to be. I know, shocking. Prinny. Ta not. Ta not. Technically, it should be N A U G H T, but we're not going to do that. So if you guys never... Oh, I, I missed an A. That's awkward. Sorry, an I. What did I say? An A. I missed my, my vowel. That's what I meant. Prini Tanat. So if you guys never heard of uh, the history behind Mutanat, and if you have no idea who or what a Mutanat is, uh, my condolences, and or you're missing out. But Prini Tanat is now a thing, and he exists good for nothing, and is all great. Anyhow... If you guys never heard of the tale, back in the day, back in the day, good old Lord Bumpington, me, uh, that's me, um, Mutanot and a few other folks, we used to play a lot of Counter-Strike uh, way back in the day. The OG Counter-Strike, we played a bit of Source, and we used to be pretty darn good at it, to the point where we made up our own clan or group, and we called ourselves the JBALSP or the Jabalsp. And everybody's like, what the heck is that? And it was Johnny Bravo's Astounding League of Super People. And we all had, I, I can only think of three people in the group. I know there was more, but we all had our own Johnny Bravo's, Johnny Bravo names. So from the Bootman episode, I was the Green Swoosh. That was my game name for a long time was Green Swoosh. Um, Mutanot was Sewer Mutants because one of the episodes he's like, um... I want to. I want to hire. I want to make a movie about real people, real people and sewer mutants. Sewer mutants who kidnap sunbathing bikini chicks and force them to do menial household chores. Anyway, so sewer mutants. Uh, that's what Mutanot chose, and we had another guy who chose the the uh, band that they were all in was the Deer Tick, so he was Deer Tick. That was his name. So Deer Tick, Green Swoosh, and 
sewer mutants used to go through, clear out servers, and do all sorts of nasty things back in the day as part of the JBALSP, the Jabals. And we were pretty good. However, as Mutanot kind of transitioned to doing other things, playing other games, at one point it wouldn't let him have two, so he was just going to go with Mutant, except he accidentally misspelled it, and he threw an extra A in there. And as such, it became Mutanot. Uh, we let him choose his own pronunciation of it, and that has been his name ever since. And in a more traditional like World of Warcraft or MMO setting, uh, the Deer Tick, or Deer Tick, he changed his name to Deer Ticulous, just to make it uh, sound more medieval and everything else. And I stayed with the green swoosh for a long time until uh, I decided upon Bumpy McSquiggins. Prior to that, I was maybe a little bit plain, maybe a little bit simple, but it was always my, my, my go-to was simply sage and not simply sage just just sage that was my original og bumpy mcsquiggums tag was sage then it was green swoosh then it was bumpy mcsquiggums so there you have it guys gals a little bit of a history lesson on top of everything else that you got to witness today hopefully you all enjoyed and yeah i think uh this is a good spot to break it all off We've gathered a little bit of currency, as you see here as well, because we've sold some of the items. Let's go see if we have any that we've picked Welcome. up, and I will show you guys this before we break out the episode. So the Bloody Blade, that's not really one of them. All right, so let's just take a look. The Bloody Blade is significantly stronger than the other ones. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. So we got that one. I got one that was like 13 million or something. So the Trident tier, 2.1 million, 1.9 million. Maybe I'm... Maybe it was 1.3 million. Uh, the Stymphalia. That's uh, 1.3. Anyway, these are all things that we got from that martial training area. That was just really, really, really high level equipment. Including, but not limited to... We don't have any here. Lamia's Coil, or Lamia's Coil. Those are significantly stronger than all of these weapons combined. And they're real, real, real good. So... That's what we're currently using on our crew. And we also managed to pick up a few extra pieces of equipment or armor, as it were. So, good stuff all around. I mean, nothing else really to showcase or share with you guys. Uh, let's just take a look at what the buy menu has to offer now. Because, again, Lamia or Lamia's coil still way higher than these. 1.2 million versus 197,000 price range. It's... It's a bit different. It's a bit different. Anyway. So I'll probably be farming a little bit more of that to get everybody's levels up a bit higher. As you can see, Bumpy McPrinty, the Printy God, is 153. We got a 141, a 105. I'm going to get everybody into the 100s, I think. And honestly, I will probably not redo Bumpy McPrinty. Once uh, Party Printy Star hits Printy God status, because it's going to auto-update... That's probably when I will cut him and reincarnate him. Keeping him the Printy King, but giving him the genius level at that point as well. So he'll have the highest, I don't know, stat rendering. I'll show you what I'm talking about real quick. And then we'll break it all off, guys and gals. So, nope. Yeah, no, this is, this is how you do it. So we go here, we reincarnate. So we're no, we're no longer going to go past this point with Party Pretty Star. We could go to the Printy God, but we're not going to. We're going to go to the Printy King, and then we're going to keep all this the same. And then the next time that we go and we reincarnate, we're going to have enough mana, hopefully, by then. We're going to actually go with the Genius level, which will allow him to maintain uh, 17 extra stats. And just, I think he keeps all of his skills at the highest level and everything else. Now, say this was not Party Printy Star say this was more Prinicus, and we're like I'm like well I want to reincarnate him I can't really reincarnate him anything higher than the private Prinny however I once again could if I was going to reincarnate him once go from the good for nothing to incompetent then I'd have to reincarnate him again to go to average again to go to skilled and again to go to distinguished and genius so that's kind of the caveat that's the rule that I've made that's what I want to follow you don't have to do this in any way, shape, or form, guys and gals. These are just the set rules that I put at the very beginning of this 
to keep myself from just getting a bunch of printing gods and killing everybody with no rules or anything else. I wanted to have some level of, well, some variety of the different folks that I have and everything. So, just keep that in mind. None of this is stuff that you have to do in your own gameplay. Just want, just want to make sure. If you want to follow the rules that I set, you can always go back to episode one. I explain them all in detail, and you'll be able to actually see all of that transpire. What? Why are they? Oh, you know what? We got to a certain level in the storyline, and all these guys got automatic level ups. As you see, none of them are at. Oh, I didn't. Oh, oh no, no, no. Those are those are. That's mana. I'm sorry. I thought that was. I'm like, why do they have? Why are they level fifty? I'm sorry. I was still in the assembly. My my apology. I'm like, they must have automatically leveled up. No, they're not. They're not leveled up. Okay, well, that makes a lot more sense. All right, let's throw our Prinny up into the right spot. And call a close to this episode, folks. So, the Pretty Squad is increasing bit by bit, piece by piece. We've not lost a single one yet. Not in grinding, not in anything. So, I'm feeling really, really good about that. And I'm looking forward to playing some more. I'd say we're at least halfway through the story, if not maybe 60% or more through the story. So, good times all around. And in the, in the next episode, I will probably go around and show you all the different like treasures. Go, I'll just leave that for now. I'm going to trigger this so we can just skip it and go on to our, our day. And Toto Bunny, this is going to be one of those areas where we'll actually be able to get a pretty good leveling up area off of. So... Looking forward to that, and hopefully you are as well. Anyway, folks, till the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. But always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer, dude!